hey, we are looking at 6 over x equals 4 over 10. So basically, we're wondering what can x be so that these two fractions are related, okay? Just one's more simplified than the other, okay? So what we need to do to figure that out is we're going to use cross products, okay? How we do that is we go from the denominator of one of our fractions and multiply to the numerator of the other, okay? So x times 4 gives me 4x, okay? And that's going to be equal to 10 times 6, which is 60. Okay, if you're like, why could she do that? That didn't make any sense. I hear you. I'll link a video in the corner of why we can do cross products, okay? Why they're legal in math, okay? All right, so now we have 4x equals 60, and it looks a lot more simple, right? I'm just trying to get x alone. So I'm going to divide by 4 on both sides, okay? So 60 divided by 4 gives me 15. And that is my answer. And as always, there's usually a way to check yourself in math, okay? So what we are saying with this answer is we are saying that 6 over 15 is equal to 4 over 10, okay? Which you might be like, uh, those don't look like they're the same. Um, what you can do is go into your calculator, do 6 divided by 15 and see what decimal you get. And then do 4 divided by 10 and see what decimal you get. And it should be the same. Okay? All right. Hopefully that makes sense. Bye.